high. As you can see, I have made the possibly horrible decision to try and play this game. <laughs> um, this is going to be interesting. I'm already sweating from fear. So let's just jump in before I change my mind. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm so glad it's almost over. Congratulations, sweetie. <laughs> Thank you. I was born that year. I don't like that. I'll never understand why you chose such a macabre field. There's nothing but... disturbing about it. It's just but that I... I'm proud of you. I really am. You come so far. So, you haven't told me what's next. Will you get a job in R or they actually have everyone they need. But my old teacher, Mr. Delver, transferred me to his office to finalize my internship there. Oh, well, that's good. I remember you mentioning him. Where's he located? Are you moving away from me? Grandma kind of <laughs> scary looking. No, I'm not moving. He's actually located around here. River Fields. Oh, Rebecca. I don't like that. Grandma. Even I've heard things about that place. I'd just be worried people about you. People make up stories. Death is a scary thing to a lot of people. We're jumping we in with a lot of strong foreshadowing here. We want comfort when we lose someone we love. I mean, no one's embalming any ghost bodies or whatever. It's fine. Right? I mean... Sorry. But I wanted to give you this anyway. So... Here. I, I don't know if I want that. Just take it, please. It should be yours anyway. Thanks. Why did all her right. hand do that? Enough spooky stuff. That was weird. I'm so proud. She's of like, you. when is all this happening? When do you start? I've actually been there for a few weeks now. My review is tomorrow. Why is she? She's like. Why is she doing that? Also, apologies for the audio if it's like crackly or if you hear background noise. My mic's been kind of screwy lately, so. All right, here we go. Bro, I thought you said you've been here for a couple weeks. Why are y'all nervous? We're tall as hell. Woo. Oh, all right. Um, yeah, that's fine. But my sensitivity is like super high. Hold on. Just a second. A little better. Okay. Ooh. That's gonna look at me at some point. I just know it. Oh, I have feet. That's always good. I have a reflection too. Thanks. Oh. I'm gonna need that in case I shit my pants later. I mean, I guess I would need to flush the toilet if I did it in my pants, but whatever. Let's just keep going. Okay. 
Access quick inventory and choose the item you wish to use most, but not all places where items can be used will cause the use item icon to appear. Good to know. So right click. Yeah. I can't I can't use that here. Okay. <laughs> we don't need that. We're a mortician, not a math teacher. Rebecca, one last thing I forgot to give to you. Please grab a pencil from my desk and sign. Thanks, Zoe. Dope. Sign what? Am I supposed to, like, take this, or? Sign, sign what, my dude? Um. Wait. I don't understand. I can't use I can't use that here. <laughs> what am I supposed to grab? Okay. Oh, I'd use the pencil. Got it. Oh, oh hell no. There's already a freaking body. Well, at least it's still daylight. Rebecca. Oh! Great. Perfect. Jesus Christ! I just finished with Mr. My Cole dude! Here. Please wheel him back to cold storage and bring us Mrs. Page. Okay. Oh. Use the gurney by standing behind it and pressing the gurney interact key, then walk backwards with the gurney down the hall. Backwards! So the ghosties can sneak up from behind. Alright, well... Ew, I don't like that I can't look in other places. This is awful. To bring a body in or out of cold storage, open the bay with the body's name, pull out the rack, then move the cart over to it. Okay. It make me turn the oh he just snapped up in there Why doesn't this, like, turn easy? Like, it takes forever to get it turned around. Just finishing up something here, so why don't you grab the clipboard and start recording identifying marks? I'll get out of your way when you're done and let you hop in here. I won't let you get it. Is there a sensitivity option for a gurney? We need subtitles on though. Um. No, there's not. I just have to deal with it. Alright. Wait, what was I? He said the clipboard? Yeah. 
Teleport used for forms and keeping keeping track of mortuary tasks. Hover the cursor over unique markings such as moles, scratches, bruises, and interact with them to record them. There's a little mole right there. We're not getting that. Do I have to like turn it? No. Okay. She got some scratches. Oops. Nothing there. Hmm. These old windows never stay latched. Bro. That was a ghost. Nothing. Oh. Okay. On the palm of our hand. Oops. Great. Climb on in here and put everything into the record system. Don't forget to take the printout to the front desk so Zoe can add it to the packet for the family. After that, we'll get started. Okay. Enter cadaver information. Click the record system icon to open the program. Oh, yeah. oh. What was that? I didn't say anything. Oh, dude, come on. You all right? Y yeah. I'm Did fine. I say you'll die here? Alright. Once all the findings have been entered into the system, click Submit to print out embalming records, then file the records up front to begin the embalming. Okay. Name. Okay, do I not? Oh, okay. Just click it, I guess. Um. Yep. All right. Ew, uh, he's just staring at me. Packet of mortuary paperwork related to the handling of the deceased. File up front so they are available if requested. Okay. Time to embalm. <sighs> I've set everything out so you can just go ahead and get started. I'll be monitoring. Everything's oh. on your list there if you need it. Wire jaw shut with needle injector and setting needles. Okay. Um. Do I not have... Bag. I can't okay. hold anything else. Bro, what? What do you mean? Two large items at a time. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. So, if you're selecting an item, a description will appear below it. If an item can be dropped, a drop button will appear under the item description. Right. You don't want that. I don't want that either. Not yet. I have... Well, they just can't put it on the ground for now. So I need... 
Yeah, setting needles. There we go. Length of wire. Got it. Needle injector. Is that what this is? Yes. Ugh. Okay. Let's just... I can't use that here. I can't use that here. Okay, do... Oh, I gotta look at her. Pull the manipulator up and press the injector button to drive barbs into the skull? Oh, hell no, dude. Hate what I'm doing. There we go. Mm. All right. Insert eye caps to keep eyes shut. Just threw it on the floor. Give me these boys. Use for holding eyelids shut. Use a manipulator to do the blah blah blah. Okay. Oh, then I got it. I see. All right. Okay. Mix embalming fluid. Isn't all this stuff? There's the G one. Blood are all to hide. Luteraldehyde, methanol, amectant, formaldehyde. Okay, give me this. Give me this. I can't hold anything else. I can't hold anything else. Right. I can't hold any. Just drop this for now, then, and anything else. Hold it. Ah! Hmm. Sometimes we get chemicals that haven't been stored properly. My dude. And it can make them pop like that. Just. Keep doing your thing. I'll get it. This place haunted as hell. And you're just brushing it off like nothing's going on. Come on. Make an incision in the carotid artery and jugular vein with the scalpel. This stuff's on the floor too. Alright. Use forceps to clamp tubing to both veins and connect to involving pump. Forceps. Okay. Where's the tubing? Is it down here? Yes. Okay. Oh god, it's so like in there. Engage pump and let the body drain. Okay. Ooh. Can you stop staring at me? I'm doing my job. He's literally just like, ew, look at him. Gross.
Was it done? Yes. Fill an empty IV reservoir bag with capsule fluid. Hey, no! Sorry. Animals are fighting in here. <sighs> okay. Oh! <laughs> Did you see that? Hello? What would have happened if it would have been open? Nasty. So, this is the... Okay. Um, what else do I do? Cavity fluid? Is that what this is? No? Oh. An insert trocar. Is that this? Yes. Okay. Okay. Why do I have to make that like? Wrinkle noise. Ugh. There we go. Mix cleaner in the bathroom closet to create tank cleaner, then pour into the embalming plump. Bump. <laughs> oh, the bathroom is up front. Right? Okay. Oh, I don't need that. I hold anything else. Okay, then drop it. I can't believe that he didn't see- you didn't see that person? Come on. Apply moisturizer. Tell you what. What? Why don't you go ahead and head out? Oh my god. I'll take over from here. Jesus, don't sneak up on me like that. Uh, are you sure? I just got here. Don't worry. You're doing great. I'll get the last of your paperwork sorted today and call you in for your first shift. Okay. So do I leave? Go ahead. It's fine. I'll give you a call when we get someone in. Okay. Bye. My first body. I just got an achievement for my first body. He knows. He knows something. That's why he knew when creepy shit happened and he was like, 
that's not a big deal. No, I know. It, it wasn't even my fault, but he sent me home right after that. Because he knew it was haunted. Was worried. He didn't want you to get freaked out. Stuff today. And he said he would, right? Yeah. So, that's a good thing. What is this apartment? Yeah, it just didn't feel like he Why meant is it. Like, like, he just said it to get me out of the building. Oh, wait a sec, I have another call. Hello? Hey, Rebecca. It's Raymond. Oh, hi, Mr. Delver. Uh, look, if I did anything wrong today, just... No, no. Um, I wanted to apologize. You've done a fantastic job. Just not feeling too well. Hmm. That's uh, actually why I'm calling. I know it's late, but we just got three new cadavers, and no one else can make it in right now. I was hoping you could come in and take care of them. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, are you sure? I mean, of course. <laughs> Is he sacrificing us? Took care of the rest of your onboarding. We're all set. And your new badges and your personal belongings drawer in the back room. That's great. Uh, thank you. I I'm on my way right now. I hope you feel better. Thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Holy shit. That was him. He signed me on. He needs me to come in tonight. <gasps> see? I told you it was fine. Congratulations. Thanks. I have to go. Like, right now. I'll talk to you later. Uh, where are my keys? I don't know, but girl, we need to talk about this situation. First of all, the rest of this is fine, alright? It's cute. It's small, but it's cute. I don't know where you sleep. That's probably a sleeper sofa. But, like, the rest of this is fine. However, whatever you've got going on right here... Why is your TV right there? Why is it not in the middle? And what is this dresser? Why is that not, like, on the floor? Why is it up on top of the entertainment center? I have questions. Turn this shit off. I'm leaving. Give me my keys. Okay. Shut up. No, you know what? We'll put it back. We don't need it right now. For later. We'll just... This will be for later, too. No, I want it on the front. Okay. This must be the bathroom. Whole lot of nothing. Okay, let's go. It's dark and rainy. Come on. I'll head to the back and get started. Just leave that there. Oh, dude, I s swear. What is that? Oh my god, is that a person? Hello. What happens if I open it? Do I die? It's locked. Mr. Delver, I need help. Someone's outside the mortuary. Just try to stay calm. I know you're scared. I'll unlock the door. What? This is very sudden, but listen to me. We have to start right away. I'm sorry. I didn't know until it made itself known this morning that it was here, let alone bound to you. I had no way of knowing the possession had started. 
Bro. Look, this isn't funny. Stop. You need to take this seriously. You need to act quickly. This is insane. I'll just leave. I'll, I'll just fucking leave. You can't leave, Rebecca. I, I can't allow that for you or for others. It's far too dangerous. <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? Most bodies I work with at night are fine. So we stay calm. Okay? We embalm. some things for you on the desk. I'll call again when you get to the embalming room. No, wait. Oh, damn it. What the fuck? Oh, this is insane. Bro, what? Okay. This is so stupid. It's just some hazing for the new girl or something. Just, just play along and do your job. Hell no! I'd be like, peace, my dude. I'm getting the fuck out of here. I swear. And the and the person left. They walked away. Is there shit in here? What's that? Okay, well, it's locked, so I'm not turning off the light. What the heck? Something lit up right here. There's nothing in there. Oh, it's the key? <laughs> Dumb. All key. I'm fucking quitting tomorrow. I mean, who does something like Look, I'm sorry, but this entire thing is extremely unprofessional. <laughs> if this is how you treat new hires, I don't think I can work for you. This isn't funny. Rebecca, you don't have to believe me, but I hope you do before it's too I would peace out of here so quick. Is to banish the demon before you're too far gone. To do that, you will need to learn the demon's name, bind it to its chosen body, and burn it in the retort. Uh. Look, I know this is a lot to take in. I wish I could do more for you. I am not an exorcist. And I don't think you are either. You have hours. I've recorded a number of cassettes to instruct you in the hope that having a physical object with a known message will help you stay grounded. I won't be calling again. You can't trust the phones. Anything can be manipulated. Listen to the tapes. Learn the demon's name. Burn the correct body. And if I don't? He's possessed forever. Dude, what the? This is insane. Whatever. Just be the professional one. Grab a body and get started. At every moment, the demon is funneling its energy through you. I'm just gonna stand in the corner. Until you are unable to resist. Identifying a demonic entity is a delicate balance. The further you are from possession, the more time you have. The closer you are, the more the demon will make itself known, allowing you the information to guess its name and the body it's bound to. The only way I've found to tell how far along a possession is on your own is to scribble on a piece of paper. Don't think about it. Just scribble. Look carefully. If you notice anything strange, it's starting to take hold. There's a notepad and a pencil on the desk Checking from time to time can give an idea. Oh my god. There's a gauging system. Okay. The night shift database. A computer program combining all what my if? findings Just into one reference grab a body point. And get the started. database contains all the information on the process of expulsion, the tools used, and most importantly, all the markings of the known demonic names. Okay. If you ever forget what to do, Play these tapes or look it up in the database. The collection of demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle.
puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings. That is the passcode to access it. Use it. I couldn't hear you over the deafening thunder that displayed. Was it in here? Typhon walked among his disciples and he spoke. He who does not truly let the Lord into his heart shall be judged by his sin and destined to serve those who truly believe. For all who, for all are assigned to the halls of hell. Abandon God as he had abandoned you. I don't want to read this out loud. What if it's like, gonna, you know, I'm just gonna read it in my head. You can pause the video if you want to read it, or if you read slower than I do. Okay. Yeah, I didn't want to read that out loud in, in case it would, like, you know, bring something in. I mean, I... Yeah, screw all of whatever this is. I'm getting back to work. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, okay. the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body, with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. Once you are certain the demon is I'm gonna bound, fuck this up so bad. Burn it. Finally, the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. They can be anywhere, so look on walls, under objects, inside furniture, anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them, so check regularly. Mm -hmm. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with, and use that knowledge to create the mark. The steps are simple. Add the reagent to the embalming mixture. Uncover the This sigils, is a lot build the mark to remember. Why is he not here helping me? Like, dude. <laughs> God, I can't handle this. Where was it? What do you mean? I don't see nothing. Okay. Is that fine? I don't know what the, like, okay. Yeah. 
scared. I'm so scared right now. I don't want to freaking do this. Which body? At least I can keep track of things. Do I have to put the regent in every body or just the one? And how do I know which one it is? I hate that I turn the gurney so slow. I don't even know which one to, I'm, I'm supposed to be doing. Because there's three bodies, right? I know which one it is. The system for moving the gurney is so wonky. Like, All right, let's check you out. Jesus. Nope, nope. New job. I'm getting out of here. Does that mean I'm supposed to like Don't pretend to leave? You go there, man. Fuck this. Fine. Maybe. Uh, no. Maybe everything's fine. It's it's fine. Uh, what? No, I, I you're just you're just as much as I'm just saying things. I just need to get back to work. It, it's fine. Girl, we are possessed. Okay, well I'm fine. Apparently, I'm no more possessed than before. Okay. All right. Screw this. I'm getting back to work. It's so stupid. I just got an achievement that said, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Listen, dude, I'm very afraid. Why can't I mark that? Oh, I already did.
There we go. Something's gonna be- Why do we not have curtains? Or blinds or something to close the window? Alright. Uh, enter markings and be That was left arm. Oh, what is that? I need to file the copy up front. Oh, okay, see, we're getting worse. We're getting worse. Should I do one of these? Oh! So where do I see, like, the mark? Oh, right there. Okay. And there was one out here, too, but it didn't let me see it. Time to embalm. Close all that. Okay. What? What? Why did it just get creepy all of a sudden? What do you want? What was that? Was there something? Did I miss something? I don't even care. I don't even care. Yeah, we need to wire the jaw shut. So where's all my shit? Okay, now I need the eye caps, which are that's okay. Is that no? Okay. Oops, sorry. I closed that. Thank you. Oh, 
it's the wait. Is that what that is? The look sensitivity? Oops, nope. Oh no, that's my mouse because it just went way up. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I'm going to turn that down again. There we go. See, now it's too... embalming fluid so I do put the regent in here too I'm gonna take these because can't use that here. Why? Dude, someone just laughed over there. can't use that here. Yeah, I know. Drop it. Oh, I have to go. Okay. Um, let me just... Okay, that's the same. So, that's one of the symbols. So, should I put... It was this one, right? Yeah, so it's do, do, do with a dot. This one. Okay. So I'll put that there for now. Um, okay, uh, so we need, no, 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 all right, um, this, yes, and then this, okay, and then this. Or. Is that not? No. Uh. Yeah, right 
right here. Dude. I don't want to... Okay. Anyway. Connected. Is that this? Yes. Oh shit. Now we're gonna get hearing some weird something. No! Don't laugh at me! <laughs> we're more possessed! Alright, give me this. We're gonna do a walk around. Nothing triggering yet. Just because he said they can be in cabinets and stuff. So I just want to be sure. What's the password? My guy. Am I even more possessed now? No, it's the same. Okay. So where's the passcode? How did you should have fucking died? I will slit your ass open, and your last vision as they wither will be of the flesh being peeled from your legs, and all that will be left is eternal pain and darkness. You will beg me to take your pathetic carcass. Oh, I guess they could see if you notice anything strange. It's starting to take hold. To banish a demon to hell, it must be bound to its chosen body and burned. The three objects in this cabinet are your tools. First, the clay tablet in the center is called a mark. Placing the smaller pieces in the correct configuration will spell the demon's name. Second, the bottles on the top shelf are a special reagent that will react to the mark. Add a bottle to the embalming mixture during the process. When the mark is placed on the correct body with the reagent inside, it will force the demon to become bound to it. Pay attention to signs that you have chosen correctly. They can be obvious or extremely subtle. 
Once you are certain the demon is bound to its vessel, burn it. Finally, <sighs> the pieces of paper on the right are called letting strips. It must inscribe the sigils of its name in our world to begin the evocation. You will need to uncover these sigils to use them. Hold a letting strip up while wandering the mortuary. If it begins to smolder and burn, you're close. When the paper combusts, the sigil has been revealed somewhere in that area. So there was one in the hallway. Walls, under objects, inside furniture, anywhere. The demon will inscribe its sigils over time to try and hide them. So check regularly. Once you uncover the sigils, use the night shift database to decide which demon you're dealing with and use that knowledge to create the mark. How do I get into the database? The My dude, you didn't give me the password. The demonic names is the most crucial piece to the puzzle. You will need this information. My ID card is in my personal belongings drawer. On the back is the password. Oh! <laughs> okay. So, hold on. Give me this again. Six seven five. Got it. Um, okay. I'm kind of skimming over this. If you want to read it, you can pause. was awful. I'm just gonna keep reading. Ew. Sorry, my arm itches. Okay. It's already, oh yeah, I looked in.
Okay, so when the bo body movements, if a body appears to be more active than others, our strange markings start to appear. Um, body movements, strange markings. Uh, okay. Dude. All right. This working? Yeah. This thing is huge. So, uh, I guess, um, this is David. Raymond, this feels insane, but this has happened a few times now, but let me see if I can get in here. There it is. Fuck. Fuck! Okay. So that's what we're looking for when we're trying to find the right body, I guess, then. There's, like, more movements, more markings. I guess I need to be checking them more than once. I feel like since we're at the beginning of the game, this dude ain't the right one. But, I don't know. We'll see. He only moved once. He sat up, but... No, I wasn't done. <laughs> the view just changed. <sighs> okay. Okay. Am I missing something I should be looking at? No. Okay. That was weird. Okay, so, so far we have this one up here. <gasps> Dude! I think it's this one. I don't like him up there. Okay, so it could be, I'm not going to say the names out loud, because fuck all that. It could be the one that starts with the A, and this one right here that starts with the T. Because that's the first symbol we have so far. So, we'll go with that. And he just disappears. Okay. We'll do that in a second. Still the same. That's a good sign. Let's do a few more embalmings. processes and then okay so we have a scalpel right yeah and then we need some forceps And then 
from tubing, which is right there. Yeah, I, this guy isn't the one. This is why I think this one goes on top. Because if you look right up in here, it has that little thing, right? Which I feel like means that it needs to go in the top. And also, so one of the things went off in here. However, I crouch. Is that? No. Yes, I can crouch, but I'm going to change that. Okay. So One of the letting strips blew up in here. Which I feel like means it should be inscribed around here somewhere. Right? Or am I just dumb? Whatever. Okay. Well, I still don't think you're the one. I think the demon is trying to trick me. So what comes next? Because there's no marks on him or anything that are any different than before. And he's not really moving a ton, right? Okay. Um, so I need to take all this crap out. Empty reservoir bag with cavity fluid. So that's this. No, just kidding. That's tank cleaner. I still don't need that. I can't use that here. Oh, yeah, sorry. Wrong menu. Okay. Um. So where in the bags? Jesus. Hey, hey, no, no. recording a video. Oh. <laughs> the mortuary assistant. Uh, it's it's scary. scary. Yeah. Um, can you bring me a Pepsi, please? You know what? I don't even think we have any. Tro car, which is... This thing.
We'll take the bus. <laughs> you take the bus. You take the bus. Oh, it's upside down. Stop. Hey. I think I just want to order a pizza for dinner. Hmm? I'm starving. Huh? Because I'm starving. Right now? Alright. Okay. So. A cleaner and bathroom. Did our possession just get worse? Heck yeah, it did. Alright, we need to make progress. We need to find this name. Can't use that here. What? What just opened? Was it this? No. Okay. All right. Was that his heart beating? What is that? good. I feel like... Screw it, screw it, screw it. <sighs> I'm just gonna look at him real fast. Just to make sure nothing new appeared. No, nope. doesn't look like it. No. Nope.
It just takes forever to move this thing. Oh, I gotta... Actually, you know what? I think I think I'm gonna end this episode here because I think it's a good stopping point. Um, and I'm hungry, and we got a pizza coming, so I'm gonna go eat. Um, so yeah, scary. <laughs> it's, it's, it's long story short, I'm freaked out. Uh, I like it so far. I'm excited to get get back and uh, dive back in. But for now, I'm going to let you guys go. So um, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Let me know if you want to see more of this game. So I will see you next time. Bye.